Hey friends, I'm Sneesh from Team Must and in this video I'm gonna discuss about a trick to find the square root of a number which is not a perfect square. My other words, this is the number which is not a perfect square. I'm gonna find the square root of that number. So I'm gonna discuss this trick. This video is basically acknowledgement to one of our subscribers who commented on one of our videos that how to find how to find a square root of a number which is not a perfect square. We really, really, really appreciate your feedbacks and queries. So this video is for you guys. Do enjoy. The trick is almost similar to the one which I discussed in my previous video uh, when I was finding the square root of a number, which was a perfect square. So this trick is almost a similar one. So in case you had seen the previous video in which I discussed how to find the square root of a number which is a perfect square you would find this trick a lot more easier and you would find that interesting too so let's move on to this trick so now taking any number which is not a perfect square let's suppose the number is 2 2 2 uh, wait a minute before starting with this trick let me tell you a cool tip which would help you any number which ends with the digit 2 or the digit 7 or the digit 8 won't be a perfect square I'll repeat this again any number which ends with either number 2 or the digit 7 or the number 8 won't ever be a square this is for sure so this tip uh, wanna help you it's gonna help you in these exams which are MCQ based for eliminating those options which are showing the last digit as either 2 or 7 or 8 so as this I have taken the number triple 2 which ends with the digit 2 it is sure that this number is not a perfect square so now starting uh, uh, with this trick to find the square root of this number uh, so let's start so <clears throat> Step 1 is start dividing the number into pairs starting from the rightmost corner. So I have done this. Now guess the number, guess any number whose square is less than the first pair number. So in this case it would be 1 because 1 square is 1, 1 cross 1 is 1. So it's less than 2. Write it down here. Now subtract this, it would give me 1. Now bring the second pair down, uh, it would give me 1 double 2. Now double the previous guessed out number the previous guess out number was 1 so 1 cross 2 would give me 2 so I will write 2 below this now again repeating the steps guess the number x guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 2x gives me the answer less than or equal to the number 122 so in this case if I take x to be 4 so 24 cross 4 would give me 96 which is less than 122 so I will write it down this way and x now is 4 also I'll write this here so now subtracting this would give me now as you see the remainder doesn't come out to be 0 instead it's the number 26 so this proves that the number triple 2 was not a perfect square so now what we have to do is append two zeros 1 2 to, to this number 26 now again repeating our steps double the previous guessed out number the previous guessed out number was 4 so 4 cross 2 would give me 8 and writing 2 as it is now again guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 28x would give me the number less than or equal to 2600 uh, uh, wait a minute I forgot something uh, the thing was the moment I appended the two zeros for the first time I would have to write the decimal so so just appending the decimal would give me one four point x now so now thinking as the previous steps uh, guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 28x would give me the number less than or equal to the number 2600 so if I take x to be 9 so 289 cross 9 gives me 2601 which is slightly greater than the number 2600 so I'll take x to be 8 so now 288 cross 8 gives me 2304 so I'll write this down now subtracting would give me 296 and yes I'll replace that x with 8 now 
now again as you can see the remainder hasn't come out to be zero yet so I'll append two more zeros to it so again repeating the steps uh, that would give me double the previous guessed out number so in this case the previous guessed out number was 8 so 2 cross 8 would give me 16 so I'll write down 6 and 1 carried to this 8 so gives me 9 and 2 as it is so now again guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 296 x gives me the number less than or equal to 29600 now don't think the number x to be 10 because x should lie somewhere between 1 to 9 because you might think 296 cross 100 would give me that spin I'm sorry for that so the number x should lie between basically what I want to say the number x should lie between the number 1 to 9 so as I can see the number 296 the number would be 9 because the number quite large now multiplying the number 2969 9 with the number 9 gives me 269721 so I'll subtract this from 29600 21 subtracting would give me and yes I'll replace this x with 9 now and this would be 9 also on the top in which I was finding oh I missed an x here but replacing that would give me 9 so as you can see the number would continue so and so so basically you got the trick uh, so now the square root of this number triple 2 would be somewhere between 14.89 something 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 so this was it for this video hope you like this trick and also you can ask us any further queries or any other you can also suggest any other topic on which we should prepare our aptitude video so hope you like this trick do subscribe to our channel team must as a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking as always